As a button, as always. I have buttons, but good morning, Mrs. It's Mrs. unbelievable. Now, what's that there for? Hey, hey. This here is the fastest man on two wheels, and it's a book by Chris Boardman, who's an Olympic gold medal cyclist. Because I'm thinking of getting a bike myself, you know. But also because... Well, he's coming in. Yes, that's right. Uh, Chris well, Boardman's going to be here soon, in. and he's going to bring his gold medal with him. Say, do you want to see this book? No, medal. that's enough of the book. Yes. And now we've got some man mail. And uh, this, we've got some man mail for ages, we haven't we? Joe. OK. There's a picture of Zig and Zag. Oh, that's and excellent. There's a picture of Gabby and me, and that's why we don't do Chris, Mad Chris, Mad 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 show us close up to you. <laughs> no, it is very good. Get Chris, on. Show us the one Chris! What? Show us the one of you. It's cool. Look. Show us the one of you. Show us the one of you. <laughs> and these are all fantastic from Andrew Barnett. Thanks, Andrew. Uh, from Blackthorn Avenue in Colchester. Cool. Thank you, Andrew. Thanks, Andrew. Thanks, Andrew. Chris, what's that? What's that? What, what, what's that what this? Yes. Oh, it's not a, oh, <laughs> Come on! It's not another one of your pets, is it? Is it? No, it's and it's it's my lunch. Is it? Yeah, because what? I'm 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 going to Corfu. Right. Zig, you're not going to Corfu. I am. Paul, now, if you understand what Zig says, Zig, you're not nine going nine to Corfu. I am one going one to nine Corfu. Nine How are you going to get to you Corfu? You can also write in what By the bus. Saying. The bus to Corfu. What yeah. Bus, what bus exactly is this? The bus, the Corfu bus. The seventeen. This is my lunch. That's your lunch. You're going um, all the way to Corfu to eat your lunch. Well, Can you remember well, it's your well. stomp food or beans? <laughs> I don't know. I'm sure you'll enjoy it no matter what it is. Yes! Yeah! Yes. It's all the same when, when you put it under the grill. Mmm. And, and with toast. Mm. Yes, thing. And you've got a tin opener, of course. Can opener. Because <laughs> you will need one to open the tin. Well, no. But, um. Because you've got the phone anyway. number of that top therapist. I need, what? I need, the therapist. I need the wildlife <laughs> and um, things that grow like berries that are, are but only ones that you can Tracy, eat. what's wrong? Nothing. Dick's going off on a tangent. <laughs> he is going off on a tangent. Yeah, I'm going by tangent. So there. By golly, he needs to be sorted out. Right, the question about the clip was. <laughs> is Blimey. Shall it's be. what type of animal is Podgy, but remember, don't phone shit for... Don't expect me back for lunch. Call the specialist. Cindy! Hey! Chris Boardman, Chris Boardman is in here in the bathroom. A top Olympic winning cyclist. Top Olympic winning cyclist, Miss Ed! Yes, Sig, well yeah. said. Thanks for coming in and taking the time out to visit us. Yeah. No the Tour de France is on. Oh, yeah. Except bikes don't make that noise. Oh, yeah. They go. Yeah, but what? <laughs> <laughs> That's true, but Sig, it wouldn't sound as good. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Sorry, sorry, Chris. Something to say, Chris. I find it, I find it very difficult to take this seriously. I must admit. Really? Really? Mm -hmm. Well, that's say interesting. That we'll be asking. France. We'll be you asking. We'll be asking questions. B. Now, look at what's this? It's a medal. Not an ordinary medal. medal. A Olympic oh. gold medal. Cool. And that belongs to Chris. Well, yeah. it did. <laughs> Sig's got it now. Yeah. <laughs> Chris. Boy, welcome Chris, to the Chris. Nice to see you thank here. You, thank you. Okay, I know you're very busy at the moment, aren't you? Very busy. Can I catch a flight back? Okay. Yeah, I'm here! Yeah. Okay. Uh, you've been racing in, in France second. yesterday, haven't you? That's right. And you're racing in France today, but you're coming over to England. That's right. Okay, it's all very complicated because the Tour de France is taking place in England uh, as well this year, but we don't know why, but we'll find out in a moment. Well, Zig, right. you're bending. Here's the official... Don't think you're supposed to hit Oh, it's that, gold right? all the way through! Good. That's good. <laughs> okay, uh, here's the official four-line intro. Off you go. Go on. <laughs> Chris Boardman began his cycling career using an old bike he found in a skip. Is that true? That's correct. Several years later, he became a national hero when national. he won that gold medal gold. on his revolutionary superbike at the Barcelona Olympics. That's right. He turned professional last September and now races for the top French team, Gan. Welcome, Again. Chris. Thank you very much. Is it a very good living, cycling? It's pretty good. Yeah. Pretty good. Hard way to make a living, but fairly lucrative. If, if, gotta be fit. if Gan were a, a, equal to a football team in Britain, mm -hmm. which sort of football team would they be? How big are they in the racing league? Uh, oh, they're certainly in the top uh, top six. So they could be like um, Arsenal, United, Liverpool, yeah. any That's of those. Standard, but yeah. not Tottenham. Fulham! Oh, I don't know about Tottenham. <laughs> no, I don't think so. And definitely not Swindon. Definitely not Swindon. Okay, all right then. Uh, we have five questions for Would you. Would you? In case you want to be a cyclist, why don't you listen to what Chris has to say? Because these questions yeah. are good. By George yeah. upon Avon, Chris, I think they should. <laughs> I think they should too. Intelligent questions I've ever heard. They are good, these ones. Chris, you are now a very successful cyclist. 
At what age did you take the stabilizers off your body? A very important age in anybody's life. At the age of five, uh, approximately half past five in the morning. Wow! And uh, much to the irritation of the neighbours. Really? Mm -hmm. And he went, shoo, down there. No, he went, like shoo. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Then he got back up again. Uh, Question number two. How much do people get paid for winning at the Tour de France? Around about uh, half a million. No! Yeah, 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 yeah. No! Are you serious? No! no way! So the guy who wins it gets half a million quid? Yeah, they're around. So what he gets is real money from is the contract. I mean, that would be the next contract you can get for the next year, an endorsement. But the actual money. prize money would be half a million pounds? Yeah, they're about. And a tradition in the Tour de France that the winner does not take the prize money, it goes to all the rest of his team who've supported him all the way through. Really? So oh, how many wow. people in that team? So there's nine riders and all the staff, so you're talking about 15 people. But it's still quite a few quid. It's still a few bob, yeah. Okay, and have you got a chance to win it this year? I mean, it's not news. No, nah, first year pro, it's, I mean, it's like it's really odd that I'm even even riding it, but uh, winning overall, no, this year experience, and we'll look to next year. I think yeah, for the half a million quid. Yeah, possibly. Good. Uh, Question number three. By God, that would keep your legs spinning, wouldn't it? Keep your legs going around thinking, oh, half a million, half a million, half a million. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh! Sorry, sorry, good carry <laughs> Chris, the Tour de France comes to England tomorrow. Why? Well, it's a good question. Uh, well, it I think never it's, no, it's mainly because of the uh, the Channel Tunnel, the link between the two countries, bit of it's bit of history Euro, there. Euro so Euro we're coming thing. over. Because there are all signs there in Hampshire and, and Kent and all these. Better watch out for the train yeah. this way. Yeah, that's right. I don't think people realise what's coming. I think they're expecting just a bike race. But if you imagine the Olympics coming to town for the day, wow. it's more like that's that. what happens. That's right. They better be careful and don't you know that the train doesn't get them on the way through the tunnel. Yeah. Mm. Anyway. <laughs> What? Even I wouldn't say that. Yeah, yeah well, I, I could. Well, I did. Question number four. <laughs> Chris, why do you shave your legs? Coach above 12, John. Coach above 12. It? Not particularly well shaved at the moment, no. as you can see. But this is a better answer than you think, because it's not just for being aerodynamic, is it? No, no. I think, partially, actually, I think it's tradition, but uh, also if you crash, you can get, we get a lot of burns when you, you tend to slide along the road and right. it's uh, for keeping it clean. Plus, if it's really cold, you put you know, get oil on the legs to try and try and keep yourself warm. So, is it true that if you got scrubbed and the gravel got uh -huh. in, in, in your knee, it's easy to clean out it's with scrubbing clean? brush? That's right, isn't it? Yeah. Ah! So it doesn't catch on their hairs. That's ah! another reason, cool. and that's a good reason. And maybe you could do it at home too. Oh, yes! Or if you're hit by a train in the channel. No, no forget no, it. No, no. And uh, question number five. <laughs> Our wonderful researcher Elliot, who's out there right now, uh, says that the Tour de France Jungle! cyclists. Jungle! Jungle! Oh, no. Take down! This, is, this is the best question. What? Don't. Shall I start again? Yeah. This is a great question. Emily, gather around. Our wonderful researcher, Elliot, says that Tour de France cyclists don't stop to have a wee. Is this true? <laughs> it can be true on occasion. It's a skill that has to be developed. And, okay. Uh, yeah. We're not saying they don't wee. We're saying they don't stop to have a wee. Well, you have to watch it very closely on television and see if you can spot oh. it. But it's true, though, isn't it? Spot not somebody right oh. <laughs> They don't stop to have a wee. No, they we'll do it on you, the move, don't we'll they? We'll let can you they? make your minds up about that. that last week. Is it illegal? No, it's not illegal. It's necessary. I don't know about illegal. <laughs> OK, all right. Chrissy <laughs> Moy. So what's the big thing after the Tour de France, then? Oh, World Championships. Uh, maybe go to sleep for a couple of weeks yeah. and then uh, think about next year. And, and the half a million quid? Yeah, the half a million quid. OK. And the yellow jersey signifies the leader overnight? It does. So, <laughs> one of these for me. OK, good for you. All right, then. So, Chris Bourbon. Good luck, Chris. Chris Bourbon! Yeah. Yes, Chris! Now, the question about the clip is, who's behind the blur? But remember, do you phone? It's just for fun. Absolutely. <laughs>